this is Patricia Regeer with Trish Talks on the Leaders Inspire channel. Vlog number four. A year and a half ago, left my job and I was a director in an organization. And I want to reflect on what if you're a leader that is no longer in a leadership role, um, or you don't have the job title, but you are a leader at heart. You help support other people, you lead other people, you inspire other people. And sometimes we even need to lead ourselves um, and walk the walk, talk the talk, and show cur uh, demonstrate how other people can show courage and be brave by being brave for ourselves. Um, and I was reflecting on being a leader and not taking care of everybody else, that sometimes leaders need to take a break and recharge in a big way and it might take time and it's going to be different for each person but so I was just reflecting on being a leader without your team or tribe around you does that mean that you're no longer a leader and I think that you still are and I think it's just in a different space and place that leaders need to take care of themselves as well and so that's really important. And I'm not sure with these vlogs because I'm driving and that I'm not looking at you if that's not good. So we'll see how that translates on, um, on the video. And I will have to research if that's an important piece that, because I do see other blo uh, vloggers and YouTubers not always talk directly to the camera because they are filming in their car, but they probably have a different setup with cameras. Um, and I'm really just taking my camera, propping it up. And of course, because I'm driving, I'm focusing on driving safely as well. So I just want to encourage you if you're in that place and space of being a leader without your team, um, sometimes you, it's your role in your family. Uh, there's so many different aspects of our lives. There's professional and personal and who we are, who we want to be. Um, and it's okay to be in that space where it feels weird because I know when I left my job, I was completely transforming my identity. It was no longer just with my job title course many things and it's complex but it's um, it was important part of my journey was to was to take that leap and <clears throat> and then I started leading in a different way and, and for so many people online if you have a YouTube channel or Facebook or Instagram or whatever platform you're using, a lot of times we're sharing our lives in such a public way. And I haven't always shared everything about my family because they don't always want to be online in that same way. And I'm used to, in my other role, compartmentalizing my life and being the role that I'm in. So all of a sudden, ripping that away it's giving a chance to reinvent myself in a way or really just really just come to who I'm supposed to be, which was so much more than that one role or job title. Um, and it's pretty exciting to open up myself to that opportunity. And I share in different points and, uh, Hopefully people aren't tired of this because this journey will continue and as I continue to vlog uh, along this journey, but part of it's to know where I started. So I left my role, then beautiful gift. We, uh, my husband had his vacation paid out and he said, 
why don't you take that money? Because I was doing such a huge change in chapters in our, our lives and took a leap that uh, he said, you know, of course that money could have gone in so many different places, especially after leaving a job. Um, but he encouraged me to go to Europe and I felt uh, pulled and drawn in that way, partly from encouragement of a longtime friend. My, our girls and my husband were super supportive. So went three weeks backpacking in, in Europe, met so many amazing solo women travelers as well. Um, Prepare and, to keep left. And um, just going to turn that off and hopefully I'm focusing on where I'm going just as much as the vlog. But, um, and a lot of women said, um, must be so brave leaving a job, first of all, and then going traveling by myself. And then when I came back, decided to start this business and put myself out there on this online way and it's growing and, and it's still on, you know, at the beginning stages really in a lot of ways. And then, and then the intentionally brave workshop came about and now the course, and there's so many dreams and things that I will take time. Like some of my dreams are publishing a book and growing the speaker side of me, um, and being a speaker at conferences. And part of growing all of that is putting myself out there in this way because I'm really comfortable and used to doing the live training workshops in person, speaking, this online avenue is still new for me, especially I need to do more. I'm hearing from all of this knowledge that I'm gleaning from other people, um, of doing the online lives, whether it's Instagram, YouTube, and I will be doing webinars uh, in the near future as well. So all these different pieces of building and expanding and exploring. So I definitely need to be intentional on vlogging some of those learning aspects, not just the, the product itself, but how I'm getting there. Um, so I just today in this vlog wanted to reflect a little bit about that part of the journey about jumping because I didn't vlog at those places, but I did share when I did, uh, when I was on my backpacking trip in Europe, staying in hostels, fulfilling a long time dream. I had that dream, I think when I uh, was eight and my 18 year old aunt was doing that. And of course at that time they didn't have cell phones and sharing. Um, so I shared a picture and a post every day of those three weeks. I did talk to my family every day of those three weeks or almost every day um, through video chats. And so that's a totally different experience. It was great to take people along that journey with me. Um, but I still was present in that place too. And what a thrill. Um, and so it's been wonderful to share some of those pictures on Instagram this uh, last little while because it was just such an amazing experience. And this journey of growing a business, being an entre entrepreneur and stretching who I am in this way online with even doing these videos, um, incredible journey. So I, you know, I think that this is a right aspect of what's been missing with my YouTube channel and will make it easier for the weekly, whether it's a vlog or a um, other uh, video of content that I, I share. But on this, your entrepreneur business building journey, it's hard because there's so many different pieces I can't do all at the same time. And these expectations of what I'm hearing from people, you need to do this, you need to do that, and definitely I need to be consistent. So I think the vlogs will be helpful and I've got so many ideas on some changes to make to my website. Um, so it's exciting. And of course there's balance because it's not just business. 
it's family life and personal self care and the whole bit. So been listening to music, had this four hour drive to picking up my daughter from camp and just making use of some of the time on different topics and reflecting um, and sharing and and just going for it, whether it's the way it will always be or uh, change over time, that's okay. And it's okay that things aren't perfect because that's part of the learning and the journey and the growth. So thanks for being part of Trish Talks vlog number four. Um, I'd appreciate if you liked this and subscribed and I hope you have a fantastic day reflecting on the journey and space and place that you're in right now.